It's John coming to you from Teotihuacan, the pyramids outside of Mexico City. And if you've never visited Mexico before, or you've only set foot on an all-inclusive resort, visiting the rest of the country could provide some surprises, especially if you're from the United States or Canada. So to help you out, I'm gonna be sharing 12 things that will shock you about visiting Mexico. Some of these things are good, some of these things are bad, some of these things are funny, but no matter what, this is still one of my favorite countries on earth to visit. Let's get to that list. I absolutely hate taking buses in the United States, but the luxury buses in Mexico will shock you. We did an entire video on this topic, and let me tell you, I will normally take a luxury bus in Mexico over a short flight. Where to begin? Tons of foot room. They even give you a meal when you board, and of course, on-demand movies in Spanish so you can practice that Espanol, and even two bathrooms on the bus. Taking the luxury buses in Mexico was one of the biggest shocks I had when I first started visiting this country, and it's something you definitely need to try yourself. Okay, guys, hi. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna shock you too. I never paid attention to it because I'm Mexican, so I grew up like this until I started traveling, is that people made me see it. And it's the fact that our candy uh, is spicy. <laughs> Most of we have regular candy, of course, we have chocolate, caramel, stuff like that. But a lot of our traditional candy in Mexico, well, these are not that traditional, but are pretty known by Mexicans, uh, have uh, chili on it. And we just grew up like this. And for us, it's pretty normal. For example, this lollipop, there is mango, but it has chili all over it. And this uh, caramel, or I don't know how you call that it has chili inside. Or tamarindo, that is pretty common in our candy. This is kind of spicy and sweet with a little bit of sugar. So if you come to Mexico and someone offers you candy, you might get something like this and you're gonna be shocked the fact that it's actually spicy when candy is supposed to be sweet. But we like to combine both. So try it because they're really good and you might like it. The obsession with Coca-Cola. The average Mexican drinks 700 cups of Coca-Cola a year. That's a lot, and I'm married to a Mexican. If you go to family events, you stare at people in restaurants, you're gonna notice that Coca-Cola is everywhere, from diet to Coke Zero to the regular variety. There's a lot of theories uh, circulating about this in Mexico, but one thing is for sure, Mexicans love their Coca-Cola. Uh, one theory is that former president Vicente Fox actually used to work for Coca-Cola as a delivery guy. There was also a huge ad campaign for Coca-Cola in the early 1970s before the Olympics in Mexico City. So when you come to Mexico, pay attention and tell me if you notice more Coca-Cola being drank than usual. The noise. Uh, this is an issue I would say, especially if you're staying at an Airbnb or you just happen to be unlucky enough to have your hotel next to a bar which is blasting music. I have found that in Mexico and Latin America in general, especially on weekends, noise is a little bit more tolerated than let's say in the United States or Canada. And it just has to be something that you come to accept. It's part of the experience, especially, I don't know, let's say your neighbors are having a party on a Saturday night. Odds are you're probably not gonna go bother them unless you go super, super late. So just something to think about. The diverse climates may shock you when you visit Mexico. Now, many people have an impression that Mexico looks something like this, a desert just south of the United States where they make country western movies. Or maybe you're thinking of Cancun or Puerto Vallarta, beautiful beaches. Well, Mexico has a whole lot more than that. Example one, Huasteca Potosina, located in San Luis Potosi, is a beautiful jungle that looks more like Southeast Asia than you would expect for Latin America. Or how about the mountains? Heck, during Christmas this year, I was sleeping with a heater on. The temperature was in the 30s. Mexico has a lot of mountainous regions where you can even see some snow in the winter. So definitely forget that stereotype of Mexico looking like one or two things only. It is very diverse. I am not one to pass judgment about this social issue in Mexico, as you'll see this in a lot of other countries around the world. Uh, seeing little children in the streets either begging or juggling for money or selling things. 
I'm not going to elaborate further on the social issues of Mexico, but it is something that could surprise you, maybe not in the best way when you visit Mexico outside of resort areas. The 180 day tourist visa. If you arrive to Mexico outside of on a cruise ship, odds are you're gonna get a stamp in your passport that allows you to stay in Mexico for up to six months. Now let's compare that to most other destinations in the world with some exceptions. Europe, Japan, you're gonna get 90 days. Now imagine what you could accomplish in six months in Mexico if you had a lot of free time. I mean, you could go to language school, you could be a digital nomad here, run your business in Mexico. You could just take a huge vacation around the country and have an amazing time doing it and not spend a lot of money. 180 days on arrival is a great thing and it's something that may shock you if you actually pay attention to that stamp on your passport. Not all food in Mexico is spicy. Not all food in Mexico is the typical Tex-Mex that you might be thinking of from the United States. Now, I grew up in New Jersey, and I will shamefully admit that in the past, I used to enjoy eating at Taco Bell. And I will say that Taco Bell has no place in Mexico because the cuisine here is incredible. And one of the best parts is that in a lot of dishes, you determine how spicy it actually is. You'll get tons of different salsas to choose from. And it's not just tacos here. You have every type of food imaginable from Yucatecan cuisine to Oaxacan cuisine. It is amazing the types of food you can eat in Mexico and it's not all spicy and probably nothing like you're used to back home unless you grew up eating, I don't know, street tacos in Los Angeles or Texas. Driving. Uh, I will say that if you've never been to Mexico before, I do not recommend that you rent a car. There could be some things that might shock you a little bit about stepping into a Mexican taxi. You know, the seatbelt might not work. The car might be a little bit older. If you're in an Uber, you might see the Uber driver going super fast on the road. You might see you know people doing some crazy things. It's just part of the fabric here. Um, you get used to it and. It's actually, it can be fun sometimes, but just note, I don't recommend you drive yourself, again, if you've never been here before. The bathrooms. Uh, there are some things in Mexico involving bathrooms that could shock you a little bit. The first one, this is really simple, but if you go outside of a hotel or resort area, uh, most public bathrooms will charge you to use them. It's typically a very nominal fee, like five, six pesos. But if you grew up in the United States or Canada, that's something that you generally don't see. And then actually inside of the bathroom, you may notice this, a lot of times there's no toilet seats, but it's just something that you have to get used to. How safe Mexico actually is as a tourist. Now this has been talked about time and time again by other travel vloggers. I can make a whole video about this topic, but I will say that the media in the United States has just completely overblown a lot of the violence in Mexico. And that if you use common sense precautions and you know you don't run around late at night in areas you shouldn't be in or, or drive in remote parts of the country, you are not very likely to run into any trouble. In fact, I have never once felt unsafe in Mexico where I thought some kind of crime was imminent. So I just think that's something that has shocked so many people that I've met that have come to Mexico for the first time when they tell me when they're leaving, you know what, it felt a heck of a lot safer than I thought it would be. the people. If you've never been to Mexico, if you haven't interacted with too many Mexican people, I think it may shock you how warm, friendly, and nice Mexicans are. I'm married to a Mexican woman. I have spent a lot of time in Mexican events, family events. Heck, I got married here, and I will say that Mexicans are some of the warmest, nicest people I have ever been around. That may surprise you, especially if you attempt to speak Spanish a little bit. They will love you for it, and this is one of the best shocks, I hope, on the video for you, is that you really do need to come to Mexico because they're truly a warm, special people here. Guys, tell me down below in the comments what shocked you most about visiting Mexico for the first time. Or if you live here, tell us in the comments what you think I missed that would also shock a foreigner. Make sure to check out our other Mexico playlists, all linked down below for even more great information and vlogs. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, until next time. But it's just something that you have to get used to.
Rawr.